It's winter here in the Mid-South, which means it's a blistering cold 50 degrees. And everybody's all bundled up to stay warm. These sad fucks don't know what cold is. I lived in North Dakota, and it would hit negative 30 on a good day. And snow? Ha! Forget about it. One time we had a dusting last year. And my school ended up closing for a week. And on one day where I was getting cabin fever and needed to get groceries because I wasn't about to eat the mice. I went out and saw four accidents on the way to Kroger. In a two mile stretch. Three of them just slid off into a ditch because that's what you do. And then the fourth rolled their minivan into a cornfield. I don't understand it. Nobody was going above five miles an hour. I was the maniac going 40. And here we are. Man, forget about a zombie apocalypse. You want to wipe out the South, just get some snowflakes. You do not have a point. Well, damn, you're all pushy. Fine, i get to the point. I'm still bummed out over the fact that I couldn't review this. And because of Lionsgate, it just wasn't going to happen. So, I had to find another alternative. So, we're going with this. Tappy Feet. That sounds familiar. Where have I seen this tactic before where you just change the one letter? And voila. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Who produced this? Again, before I even review this, what does this animation look like? No, 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 no. What the actual fuck is this thing called? The Adventures of Scamper? I don't know this. I know. I'll get on the internet. The Information Superhighway. They'll provide me with all the information that I need to figure out what the fuck this movie is. Come here, conveniently placed laptop that I have over here for no apparent reason. Let's find out through the internet what these little penguins are all about. Act like I'm typing. Alright, so this was originally called The Adventures of Lolo the Penguin. It was a 1986 Russo-Japanese film, which was distributed in the United States by Inoki Films, and renamed because of, well, you know, kids would confuse this with the adventures of Lolo on the NES. Somehow. Then apparently, Brightspark got the rights to this fucker and slapped a new title and cover art on its ass and called it a day. Their version of this production was probably released around 2006 in conjunction with the release of Happy Feet. I say probably because there's no copyright date on the box or the DVD. So I don't know. Sorry. So when it was translated to English and brought here to the States, it was heavily edited for its violent content. Shit, I was hoping for something akin to Watership Down. You know, quality family entertainment. But to be fair, let's see what Russia and Japan can create together that would tell us about the trials and tribulations of a little blue fuck penguin like this. I'm ecstatic. <laughs> oh look, the most contemporary piece of animation on this DVD. <laughs> oh great, now I'm having Sandy Frank flashbacks. Sandy Frank, Sandy Frank, gets hard movies from Japan. Like rejects from a Mario Brothers game audition. Although it is still very cold, it's springtime here in Antarctica. Bitch, please, that's a picture of Fargo from July 5th. This is the story of one of these creatures, an Adelaide penguin named Scamper. And how he became the last of his kind is truly a tragic tale of misery and woe. And now they fatten themselves up with the food of the sea. Preparing for the most important event of the year. 
nesting season. Well, hot damn, time to get your penguin freak on. Oh. Hey, my rocks. Penguins can't deny the sweet taste of crack rocks. She and the rest of the females from the village were excited and couldn't wait to see if the nest were finished. What a beautiful nest you made for us, Gilbert. Mother always said I had low standards. The penguin couple snuggled together in their new nests. It wasn't long until Gracie had laid two beautiful eggs. Wow, that was the worst sex scene ever. The least they could have done was grunt. I'd better go eat something. Good idea. You'll protect the eggs, won't you? Of course. Now go and eat something. So long, suckers. Come on, girls, it's ladies' night at the Plastered Porpoise. Don't worry about a thing. You know that I'll guard our eggs with my life. <laughs> It would be 40 days before the females returned. 40 fucking days? Woman, you said you were getting something to eat, not pulling a Noah's Ark at the Golden Corral. One by one, some of them began to desert their nests. The thought of the good food that awaited them in the ocean was too much to resist. Hooray, child neglect. Keep an eye on our eggs. Hey, come back here. You can't do this. I can't watch all these eggs at once! Get back here! Fuck them, Gilbert! This is their version of birth control. Let those assholes deal with the consequences. Mean old birds oh. are looking for something oh, to ow. eat. They fly, they ah. dive, and they keep these eggs alive. Is this really happening? We have a jolly song about child murder? You sick fucks! Child murderer! Child murderer! <laughs> When the females returned, there was great sorrow at the devastation caused by the seagulls. And a shitload of divorce papers filed. One of our eggs was taken by seagulls. Oh. <gasps> oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Uh. I can't raise two chicks in this economy. Here, have one. Look, dear, we can still have a baby huh? chick. Oh. Damn! Hey, Sheldon from Garfield and Friends made a cameo. Oh, oh my. You're a Perfect child. Oh, stop it. Your kid is rock stupid and you know it. Let's pick out a name. Hmm. I've got it. How about Shithead? Let's pick out a name. Hmm. I've got it. We'll call him Scamper. Scamper. Ah, isn't that a wonderful name? Sort of suits him, doesn't it? What? He's been on God's green earth all of 30 seconds, and you think that's a good name for him? Fuck. You know there are a dozen people in the United States named Absaday? Yeah, A, B, C, D, E. You can look that up. Now what's gotten into him? Oh, Gilbert, he's just being a little chick. Quit fucking coddling him, God damn it! They relied on their parents to catch their dinner in the bountiful waters of the ocean. This time of year, the penguins ate krill. A what is this, Nat Geo? Like all penguin mothers, Gracie fed Scamper food that she kept for him in her crop. The food was already chewed up, making it easier to swallow and digest. Yummy! Already been chewed food, my favorite. You seen my boy Scamper today? No, I haven't. But how could he just have disappeared? Hmm. Survival of the fittest, I suppose. Over, over. <laughs> Good lord, Scamper, at this rate you're gonna end up in porn with all the sea scum you're sucking out of people's mouths. Have you no shame? hear what you were saying. As you know, we only have one chick. And Snowflake needs a playmate. Mama, who is Snowflake? You She's a libtard cock. Keep away from her. Do you want to be my friend, please? Hmm, I don't know. I think we should be enemies. Tell me about the time you fought the seagulls. Well, I was assigned to guard the nests. Uh, oh, just look! 
The seagulls are gathering near the village. Okay. You go ahead and see if you can stop them. I'll be along in a minute. Hurry! I want to come with you. No, stay here. Am I about to see a parent die? Fair. But my papa said I am not supposed to go anywhere. Of course, I'm speaking metaphorically. Then can I go? Uh, mm. Oh, it seems like a nice day to explore. A nice day? You don't understand me. Well, you done fucked up now. No, I you. have my to brain. use my no. mind. Use my There's so many things to find. Including my imminent death. Oh good, here comes the helicopter strafe. <laughs> Thank you, Red Mechanical Bird God. But I saw him going down that way. Oh, this is terrible. What can I do? Oh, why are you crying, Snowflake? You just met the dumb fuck ten minutes ago. You can't be that attached to him already. No interspecies erotica, thank you very much. Who are you? Huh? Ah. I'm Cowboy. Cowboy? And you don't much look like a stare to me. Oh, but that's not a big bird. That's a machine called a helicopter. What's the matter with you? You live out in the middle of nowhere or something? I see you and Cowboy are friends. <laughs> English bird, the Swedish meatball. Hmm? Okay, time for you to go home. <sighs> Papa, oh, let me tell you about the incredible adventure I just had. Scamper! Huh? I believe when I left, I asked you not to run off anywhere. Oh boy, here comes the beating of that penguin's life. I almost can't watch. I worried so much while you were gone. Scamper, you're my only little chick. Lord knows you were switched prior to birth. It wasn't too long before the chicks were old enough to go to school. The Antarctic could be a very dangerous place. School? In Antarctica? Holy cow, that's like one notch below going to school in North Dakota or Northern Minnesota. No, that's enough. Calm down. Will you be quiet? Quality educator, if I ever heard one. Even penguin chicks can be grabbed by a seagull and taken away into the air. So protect yourself. Wear a condom so the seagulls can't grab you. Big lug feeds on clam and oysters. They'll also eat starfish, but they never, never eat penguins. Why are you communicating with the triceratops turd, Mr. Feather? Eef, mm, this one is female, the tusks are shorter and thinner. He nearly died! <laughs> That's fucking hilarious! That was very good. Now we can go slide on the ice. Wow, Mr. Feather just had a sex change. I want you to be like the other children in the group who know how to behave and follow my instructions. Wow! Good teacher! Scamper's falling into the water and sunk! Oh, my heavens! Looks like some penguin's about to lose tenure. Oh, Scamper, don't be alarmed, children. It's all right. This sort of thing has happened before. There we are. In a moment, he'll be as good as new. Uh, it's too late to cover your ass now. In fact, I ought to revoke your teaching license myself. But before long, it was nap time for the young penguins. The teachers had worked hard too that day and needed their rest as well. Oh, fucking A, nap time! My favorite subject! I teach college, why can't I teach that class? Something incredible! Over the mountain, there's this little city. There are dogs and men and all kinds of things. You've got to see it! You... It's called Anthrocon and we're going to have a bitchin' time! This is it. This is where the dog and the men live. Welcome to sunny Grand Forks, North Dakota. Oh, Scamper, it's so far down there. Will we ever get home again? Not we. I intend to leave your carcass here. Cowboy, <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> I'm glad you're back, Scamper. Now I have somebody to play with. Let's play Red Rocket today. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, 
I smell a concussion. All right, the foreplay is getting a little rough here. Like, lay down. Snow Marines and nobody gets left behind! Meanwhile, back at Ignorance Elementary. I guess it's not a mistake. Scamper and Snowflake, they're not here anymore. Hmm. Well, fuck them. Survival of the fittest, right? Scamper and Snowflake are missing. Has anyone seen them? I know where Scamper and Snowflake went. They left during nap time. They sneaked out and climbed over the mountain. Didn't anyone teach you that snitches get stitches? Foolish. I should have started with a lesson telling them how dangerous humans are. We've got to do something to try to save them. Something's coming. <gasps> Quick, everyone run and hide! Looks like Madison, Wisconsin at 5 p.m. in February. Off you go home. Thank you, Ginger Messiah. Mama, that man and the dog saved my life. What nonsense are you talking about now, boy? Those are two of the most dangerous animals in Antarctica. There you go, Professor Xavier Featherbrain. Hear about my trip? You're really in trouble, young man. Now go straight back to the nest. Aww. I know this is the censored version because they deleted the scene where he got ten across the ass with the penguin belt. The adventurous mind was soaring to the limits of his imagination. Hi! <laughs> Ow! Holy fuck! Don't scare me like that! Damn it, Grandma! Oh! I need to get up higher. This is how the other birds do it. When they want to start flying, they usually start from a higher spot. So I'll just have to do the same thing. Oh shit, this is gonna turn into a snuff film. That's it! The ice cliffs! I can fly from there for sure! Come on, Snowflake! Is Scamper trying to win the Darwin Award? Snowflake! Snowflake! Well, this is a role reversal if this was Titanic. Too young to swim and there's no way back, so we're trapped! Oh, Snowflake. You should try to look at this as an adventure, okay? Adventure? I can't tell if Scamper is an optimist or just rocks stupid. Scamper! Snowflake! Well, where can they be? Where are you so Keeping track of those two little shits has become this community's pastime. Oh, yeah? I've got to say I've got a bad feeling about this. Try to stay optimistic. Think positive. Dude, motivational posters don't help at a time like this. Yes, I'm sure they'll be coming home anytime now. Don't talk nonsense. By this point, they've probably already been you. <gasps> they don't stand a chance. Thank you, voice of reality. Just dash away all hope like that tactless fuck you are. Oh, uh, Help! Watch out, we're slipping toward him. Uh, oh! <laughs> Oh, this'll end well. A snowball fight on a floating block of ice is a dandy idea. I stand corrected.
took them to waters warm enough to melt their little raft. But fate once again had a hand to play in their adventure. Really? We're just gonna cater to these numbskulls? They've had enough chances, let them fucking die already! It's doing floating way out here. It's lucky we got them. Uh -huh. Snowflake, we're saved! Yay! Yippee! Yippee! We're saved! We're saved! We're saved! We're saved! <laughs> about wasting your breath. Oh! What kind of bird are you? Who are you? Bowie. That's my name. I'm telling you to fuck off is my game. It'd be worse. They can't take you from Miss Gumper. Oh, that won't happen. That will happen. And Yuck, forced love interest bullshit. Hey, then, we'll help. What is it we need to do? I don't know what we should do. We just have to escape somehow. I've done nothing and I'm all out of ideas. Please let us out. We don't want to live our lives in the zoo. He's right, Mr. Jack. Let us go. You know, throughout this entire exchange right here, I'm left to wonder how penguins understand the concepts of zoos and money. I don't see Professor Featherbrain teaching this shit. And how would he know to begin with? They're in Antarctica. Huh? Oh, now see if you can't. Oh, it's no use. It's just a little too high for me to reach. Just slip your asses through the bars. You're already practically doing it. Snowflake, it's okay. Really? Well, maybe we can try again later. I mean, we might be dead later, but we could try later. Nowhere else to look. I'm afraid we'll have to just call off the no, search. No, don't say that. They'll come back. I know they'll be coming back soon. Of course they will, dear. That level of hope is almost admirable. But I'm too fucking jaded and cynical to aspire to it. How do you know what a mop is? I have so many questions. Like a lot. There's your PSA, kids. Don't eat paint. It's bad for you. Mmm. It's good. Mmm, have some, huh? Ah. For all you know, you're eating rat poison. It's not bad. Have some. <laughs> Don't do it, Snowflake. Don't do it. This is how most anti-drug PSAs start out. Just call them a turkey and leave. And catch them. Don't let them get away. Don't let them get away. Don't let them get away. Oh dear god, don't tell me this music is serious. It almost sounds like the music from the Garfield Halloween special. But the one thing I'm not is a scaredy cat. Now I know why bullets did the music. It's because you want to put one in your brain to end this misery. We gotta stay ahead. We gotta stay ahead. If they take us to the zoo, we'll wish we were dead. Oh. That's about how I feel right now. End this shit. Uh. 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 You're celebrating being stranded on an iceberg? I can only imagine what that's like. Yay, yay, we're gonna slowly die of starvation. Yay, yay. Oh, fuck. There's only one way to find out. What if you sink? If I sink, then I sink. Yo! Hey, that joke is beat for this review. Hey, you watch.
watch an 80 minute movie about animated penguins and see what quality material you come up with. Fine, I will then. Well, good then. Haha, <laughs> I can swim! Yay! Who knew prison time would make you a good swimmer? They're not gonna eat us, and they might even help us. Oh, that's right. Now I remember. Mr. Feather said that they were friends of the penguins. Hey, do you think they'd give us a ride back home? Hi there! Hi there. Yeah, Scamper, use your Aquaman powers to get your ass home. Could you please give us a ride home? It would be all pleasure. Not like I got shit to do but help three dumb bastards. Sure, hop on. By the way, girly, please sit in my blowhole. Huh? Huh? There's just a lot of snow down there. Oh, damn. They missed the penguin rapture. Well, they're straight fucked. Wait, they moved all of 30 feet to the left and you thought they vanished? I've never seen a penguin that looked like that before. We must kill it with fire! Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Son, don't worry about any of that. You're back! And that's all that matters. I've written you out of the will, but hey, you're back! Relax. Yay! 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 Huh? Oh shit, someone just got capped. Where are you going, all of my students? <laughs> oh, Help! Oh, oh god, third heart attack. Not good. Oh. They didn't shoot me. I can't go on. I'm just too old. At least you weren't hurt. Look! I can see their parachutes. They're okay. They're trying to sell our children to the zoo! Come on! Let's stop them! We don't know what that means, but charge! Put your backs into it! Get these birds! I'm freezing my balls off here! What is this? Twilight of the Cockroaches for Penguins? Oh, Popsky. A little to their surprise that they were all unharmed. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, you stupid prick. It's Batman. Soon it will be dark and cold again. But we have to look forward to next year when we'll need a new leader. That no bastard ever won a war by dying for his country. He won it by making the other poor dumb bastard die for his country. Yes, I've appointed many of our leaders, and I know that he'll do a good job. We know that you can count on Scamp. Oh, Scamper, I'm so proud of you! If it wasn't so fucking cold, I'd have soaked panties right now. Boy, what about you? Can you stay and help me? You'll manage, all right. I've got my own home to find. Good luck, asshat! ...return to their homes. Louis set out to find his family, while Scamper led his flock of penguins back to the ocean to spend the long winter as they always had, in the protection and abundance of the sea. Well, that's how you end it, huh? Everybody marching off to their own respective death. Bravo. Bravo. Well, I could throw a fit about the name change to Tappy Feet, Ventures of Scamper, Lolo the Penguin, Fuck You. But... Given that this was a collaboration, the animation is actually pretty good. I will give it that. I was actually impressed by the way they animated the human characters. I was not expecting that. And that was a little bit of a joy to watch. I do have problems with the story. 
Scamper should have won the Darwin Award multiple times, if not been dead. But here he is, now leader of the village. The village idiot is now in charge of the village. <laughs> Good choice in leadership, Mr. Feather. You dunderhead. All I can really do is get mad at Bright Spark. Because they did it to me again. Just like with Braver, they've lied to me about this penguin. And I can't really get mad because fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. But I don't learn anything anyway. Because if I didn't watch it, what would I review? I don't know. I guess my biggest grief would be that they didn't have an unedited version of this. I'd really like to see the violence that they took out. I mean, they did shoot at the penguins. They didn't hit anybody. And there was a tiny bit of blood. I'm not saying the thing had to be a total winter version of Watership Down or anything. I mean, that is just horrifying. And it's quality family entertainment. And I think it's got the UK version of a G rating. And there's a lot of bloodshed in that. I don't know. Maybe just made me a little homesick, if you want to call it that, for North Dakota because I miss frozen nuts. I don't know. So if you'll excuse me, we just had a dusting out here, and I think I already heard somebody slide into my ditch outside, so I've got to go help them out. God only would know what would happen to this place if we got 30 inches like I do back home. Whatever. Fucking plebs. Ugh. And when I think about things like that, forget about a zombie apocalypse. You want to wipe out the entire... Oh, fuck. Come here, conveniently placed laptop, which will do nothing. Like I'm typing.